folks, this is Novel Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. Alpha 13, Cougar's Hope, that was last episode. We still have these three to pop. I'm going to give a little bit of time, though, let folks get food and rest and what have you, then we'll see what's going on in here. Let me widen out a little bit. I've assigned everybody something to carry in, so they're not just going to head in and go to sleep just yet. Michael's going to bring in their, the, uh, the trophy of the, uh, I can't click on it, yeah. the trophy of the, of the battle. Klaus, where'd you go? I thought you were heading down here to mine. You did. I'm curious to see what's behind the gold block. Gold ore, 1,500 in hit points. Give him a little bit of time there. Well, while he's doing that. I was going to say, let's go see if Bran made it in to talk to the trader. <laughs> all right. Medicine, they have two. We will take all of it. Components, they have one. We will take all of it. That's the wrong one. Kibble, no, we're doing fine there. They have a minigun. They have EMP grenades. They have packet survival meals. We have 23 of those. I don't think they do as good as the lavish meals and fine meals and whatnot. Let's dump these. I think so. Let's sell those. They don't have enough to pay for it. Ah, okay. Okay, then let's take that down to zero. And those are 13s, these are 12s. Should we get rid of our simple meals this way? and? No, that won't help either. I want to get rid of the simple meals that are in the prison, and I really can't do that. I can. Let's see here. Cancel. Pause. It showed one meal as being a low... Ah, they've been picked up. Okay. So they're no longer in there. That's interesting. I couldn't force them to take that and put it away. And yet someone has done it on their own, because there was a stack of 10 there, and Hippo didn't eat that many. So they did make it back into here. 36 out of 50. Won't spoil, but it probably say spoils within a day if we got it warmer. Otherwise, 50 out of 50. They're all back, and they're all 50 out of 50 again, except for this one. Okay. We'll sell the one. Where am I? Somewhere in this area, right? Brand. Brand, go back and talk to Sotashi one more time. There we go. All right, try that again. All the medicine, all the components. Sell you the one bad simple meal. And over here, what have we got? 47% pump shotgun. I don't see us using that. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Pistols we'll keep for practice. Uh, survival rifle, charge, minigun. They have a minigun. We don't want one. Charge rifle, we have two. We don't want to sell those. So let's do sell packaged meals until they run out of money. Which is there? 13 more. Which is there. Okay. So that will get all of their silver that we can. Continuing to build us up. Next one that comes in might have a bionic eye that we want to get for Cathra. And we may not have the ability to do it. So let's grab all that we can from them whenever we can. So good? Good. Pause. Bran always escapes before he calls something in. All in medicine, please. Thank you. All right. Back down over here. Are we close? We're getting there. After this, we'll go check on, on Chef. 35 per, and there's at least two more. Okay. I need a 20, right? There. 20. We're good. Well, let's check on, on Chef first. How you doing? Health. Needs. You did get fed. All right. So all of those negatives are gone. Health, though. Malnutrition is still there. That's going to go away in a while, I'm assuming. Uh, the extreme infection, though, is going to take you out probably this episode. and We just don't have the ability to fight that. So 
What was that little noise? We've struck gold ore. Um, yeah. So that's the message I never saw last time. Never saw that. Maybe it was there, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's delayed. Uh, maybe some of you guys saw it, though. Solar generator breakdown. Okay. So Klaus is going to have fun just working in this area. Michael wanted to be part of that. Where is he at? He's down here. He needs... Ah, eh, what the heck. Come on down and work on this one. Eh, well, you both get to bring some gold in. Radar's the new guy. Needs... And where are we? Three in the afternoon. He's a lot closer to his soft break, though. I think I'll leave him in bed. I'll let the two uh, um, experienced miners, the, the two old guys, work over here on this and bring in the prize that they've been the entire series looking for. Um, that's there. Why is this here? It's because nobody has taken the time to move it yet. That's why. So much to do, so little time. Still have to get into here. So let's kind of look the map over. What is critical yet? We're done with these guys. Solar generator. I think that's already been repaired. One of these four. No red X on it, so that has been repaired. We are definitely into spring. Outdoors, we're at... Where am I looking here? 82 degrees outdoors. So indoors, we're going to start getting warm. Let's go ahead and do this. I need someone to close this door. And Vapa, you're what? Consuming a lavish meal. And do we have lots of lavish meals, or is there only one and you've really got your mind set on it? Nope, there's a few of them. So I'm going to, to draft you to come walk over here. And we're going to tell this door to not stay open. And you go over here now. There we go. You go back for your meal. Yep. And we need to put a roof opening right here. So uh, expand no roof area to right there. And that should allow this heat now to vent outside instead of running inside and adding to the heat in here. Otherwise, we are 71, 71 out here in this bedroom. 74 so we're we got some heat working in from the outside in there this guy is buried in the middle indoor 75 huh it's probably time to go ahead and turn the heaters off then again six day of spring i think we're going to be fine these guys are not running in a sense they're at 10 watts because we're already above 70 degrees they're at something like 180 watts or something like that running otherwise. So they kind of idle down. Chef has died because of infection. Yeah. They idle down when we don't need them. So we could just let them go. But I would like... Are we there yet? We are. Let's turn this guy off. Visitors are leaving. This is on. So we'll continue to charge this one. This is charged. We're going to uh, store that one now. And let's go ahead and kill the heaters. Now, if I do this off, does that reverse this? I don't think so. These should be green. Let's find one no one's hit yet. Okay, they're all set to off. That's why the red X. Okay. These are visitors who are walking through. Eric is flicking a switch. So he wants this one, which is... And it stayed the same, yeah. All right, so they're turning all the heaters off. We're saving, I don't know, six or eight times 10 watts. That's gonna help. Otherwise, another foggy, cool evening, 75 degrees. Visitors are leaving. The cotton has been picked and is sitting out here rotting. Yeah, let's get some more hauling going on and see how much we can get cleaned up here. Um, meals, I'm going to leave the cooks going. Michael is mining. That's fine. Brand is wardening. That's not as necessary anymore, but there's only one, so he's, he's going to do it probably twice a day, and that's it. He's going to drop into cooking next, into repair. 
Let's set him up as hauling next. He's only doing simple meals, so he doesn't really need to be there. Kitchen is... He's got only a few animals left to butcher, and Radar can handle that. Rokes, you are definitely needed out there doing the construction. Klaus, mining, and yeah, let's continue with that. Vapa, you're already on hauling duty after growing. Growing is over here next. Yep, there he goes. And that's important too. So we'll do that. Dwayne, crafting blocks, also important. Catherine's on cleaning, also important. Everything is important, really. That's what it comes down to. Natalia, let me get out a little bit so you, can, you guys can see what's happening over here. Natalia is our primary cook, and that's also very important, especially these lavish meals. I think we're going to see very few mood issues as a result of things like the lavish meals. And eventually getting everybody, or getting several back onto uh, uh, art. Back these two art benches here, I might put two more right there and eventually let four people be making statues once we get things kind of caught up around here. Drop those into all of the bedrooms, they'll get that, that beauty boost all night long while they're getting a comfort boost, while they're getting a rest boost, while they're getting all the other boosts. And they'll, they'll all be in great shape. Cassie is on haul duty already. Nettie is tailoring, and I want her to continue with that. I want to make sure that nobody has any frayed clothing, which is a negative that doesn't need to be if you can avoid it. Manuel is on hunting, doctoring, then hunting, then growing. We already have two, I think, full-time growing. Let's see here. There's no little symbol right there. So he does not get a bonus out of that. Does this say? It doesn't say either, here either, but I do see two uh, burning passions right there. And we have a burning passion on hunting and one on doctoring. So let's take growing down by one. Well, no, we'll leave it there. But we will, for now, we'll put you up to a one on hauling. I think we'll do that. Um, radar, mining, oops, click that accidentally, but let's go here instead for a while. I need to get some hauling done. Eric, Eric, your first job is to build a research station and get you back on research. So everything else here works. Take that back to a one. Michael, you can be back to a one on doctoring two. All right, I think we're good here. So hauling, one, two, three, four, five, and others will default to it if they have nothing else to do. You're making kibble, so you're doing the, the food thing. Let me think about that again. Work, you probably already got that order because I just shifted you to hauling instead. You know, let's leave it the way it was. Four haulers. Radar can continue doing the cooking, which he really likes to do, and there are still animals to get butchered. Lavish meals depends on having lots of meat available and the others, so we need to get the food hauled in. We need to get meat butchered, hauled in. Yep, lots to do. Michael's down here, tending to brand. Um, boy, I wish Rabbit could have done that. That's a long walk in. Hmm. It's always a, a, a balancing act. What is more important? Michael, character, he's getting good at medicine because we are having him go in when it's inconvenient to do these sort of things. If Rabbit takes a bullet in the head soon, Michael's our main doctor. And it would be a great idea to have him skilled up. Though you can see it's going to take quite a while to get his next level of skill. He does have a passion for it, though that helps. With 1,500 out of 13,000, he's going to be a 12 for a while. Anyway, Brand, hauling steel to stockpile zone, because he's on hauling duty now. Did I see a flicker? Really? Batteries are low, so we are not bringing in enough power to handle what we're doing right now. Hello? Where'd you come from? 
<laughs> wow. That was abrupt. Oh, remember that noise? Oh, that's creepy noise. Psychic ship. A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their minds, exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have on board an AI persona with psychic projection ability. And this AI is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible. Oh boy. Okay. Let's think about this one. As soon as we shoot it, mechs are going to pop out. And we can't lure them into our gauntlets because they will protect the ship until it gets below 50%. So we need to take the ship down. One way to do it, let me zip out a little bit so it's not so loud, is to put turrets up and about, turn them on, let them start shooting the ship. The mechs are going to destroy the turrets, but eventually the ship gets down below 50. We could also be all standing out here shooting at it too. Problem is, the mechs come out with any number of weapons, including, what did I call it last time? The, um, oh, I can't think of it now. Uh, shoots rockets and boom, everything explodes, which means five colonists are down just like that. I don't like them near these things. You know, I, I like mechs being taken out like we did last time. Scattered all around, shooting from all directions, and moving people in and out one step at a time. But like the rockets that took down Eric over here, the explosions are big. So unless you are preemptively moving out of the way before it fires, you're probably going down. We were very lucky with Eric. He, uh, he had a full recovery. We could have been looking for bionic parts just to get him moving again. So, I'm not going to goof around with this. Although, we don't have a lot of blocks. What do we have? Let's go this way. This is much easier to, to look at it. So, we've got 215 granite. We have 250 marble. That is sandstone. That is slate. And that is limestone. Hmm. I want to build something to contain them. And then maybe melee this thing. We could try that again. Let's see here. I don't want to run the game because as time progresses, this thing gets worse. So I want to come up with a game plan and then get them working on the game plan. It looks like these guys are on hold for a little bit. Hopefully they behave. And I'll just pop on their own if there's anything in them at all. Structure. Walls. Let's go to marble at first. It's not very strong. Can I build over fire? Well, that fire is going to go out before we get there. If you build like this, someone who's melee can stand right here and kind of poke through with a sword and bang on that corner. So I'm going to be a little cheaty and do that. Hmm. Do I do two points or four? I think I'm going to do only two. There's a chance this mech, however many are in here, they're going to pop out in various directions randomly. They could pop out and land right there too. That could get a little dicey. So whoever goes in there, you know, there is a chance they're, they're going to be in trouble. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fifteen is seventy-five. Let's do 75 and uh, so 70 and there's 105 and there's 125. What I say is 100. Oh, it's right over here. There's 250 marble. So we have enough to do something like this. Give them plenty of room to spawn inside. Otherwise, they could all spawn in the wall. You can really cheat this thing and surround the whole thing with wall all the way around. And as they spawn, they spawn in the wall and die instantly. That's that's a little too cheaty for me. I'm going to give us some advantage, but I'm not going to take away the battle completely. So we'll do something like this. And let's cancel 
one until the last minute. Let's also put in security. Hmm. Let's get the turrets up against it. If they explode, you know, if, when they explode, they also explode into the ship and take it out too. Let's put two turrets in there. Uh, what kind of stone or uh, iron, steel? We have 392. These guys take. So there's 350. Yeah, we have barely enough to run this thing with two of them. There's more down there, but I want to build some in these too. We're, we're going to run out of steel. Two enough? <clears throat> I'm going to say two is enough. We may have to improvise if these two blow up too quickly, but their explosions are going to count as damage as well. I think two is going to be enough. Let's run power uh, right there outside of the walls and straight in to here but let's put a switch in it we can turn it on when we're ready to uh, right here and I'm kind of thinking I want these two stones out of here are uh, these this pathway cleared so we can get behind that door which doesn't exist yet yeah okay <laughs> anyway turn the, get rid of that one okay power in these guys are live walls fill it in last a Rox and I think Kathra or Cassie there's two of them that are the best at melee the only ones using it right now and that's going to be their heroic stand okay that's it turn it on we're on normal speed I was going to go look for Eric to see if he was sleeping, and if not, send him down to get that gold, which I'm sure the other two didn't bother to haul in. No. Um, no gold there, no gold there. So that's probably the end of it. 35 times 5. Um, a little under 200. Klaus is mining gold. We've got new priorities now. Can you please bring marble? Who else is up? I'm thinking, oh, Eric's up. And you are consuming a lavish meal. Yeah, I'm going to let you. Then I'll send you off to do something else. Brand, you are hauling components to the stockpile. Can I have you... I'll have to do this in two steps. Haul, actually, artif or, uh, architect, security. First is steel, then components. Okay, so you're not going to bring those components no matter what. You're going to bring steel first. Um, boy, just about everybody's up. Nettie, let's have you bring marble. Uh, Cassie, you are picking up food, which I really wanted, so I'm going to let you. Radar is probably making kibble. <clears throat> that can wait. How about you also? Is there any of this part? There. That one's not reserved. Why don't you bring some marble as well? So Cassie's doing that. One thing about having your refrigerator near your food, a hauler is going to do, you're going to haul something, and as soon as, in this case, she is done, she's going to look for the very next job that needs to be hauled within proximity. So as everything in here gets done, she's going to just naturally keep going back out to the, uh, the fields to get more stuff in because that's the, the next hauling job. So, as close as you can get your fields to your refrigerator, the more likely it's going to get hauled in without having to manually uh, coax them to do everything. Okay, Nettie, you are sewing area. Why don't you do that one? Eric, marble wall, building, okay. Actually, I want you to build this. Why don't you grab that gold? Rokes, yeah, I want you right down here in this corner and rabbit relaxing socially Natalia radar is hauling venison all right I'll let you this time who else could brand hauling oh, okay you're grabbing all of the uh, the butchered stuffs um actually that was better left right where it was because it was under a roof 
This stockpile needs to be emptied so badly. I need someone to come in that'll buy all of these random things. Um, we could create a stockpile for all the furniture just to get that out of here, just because I still don't know with certainty whether Alpha 13 sold furniture to traders. If you were able to box it up and put it in a storage pile to begin with, seems like it would have been done, but I don't know. Anyway, drop that off, and let's get you to haul more blocks in. And this is marble, and why? Reserved by brand. Okay, can't do anything. Rokes, you are getting something to eat. So they are still eating the lavish meals as fast as we can make them. Which makes me wonder if we are not going to be able to maintain with, uh, let's see, radar. This is vegetable. Can you haul that for me? Maybe to that spot. Um, maybe lavish meals, we're not going to be able to keep up with it. I don't know. What did you... Did I say consume? No, 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 no. Consume. Because someone else already brought those in. Okay. Then haul these guys instead. Okay. Um, okay, then haul these guys instead. Gotta get these, these spaces filled up. I wait the cooks and just sit there and just run back and forth and back and forth and be done. All right, now we're done. Anyway, how we doing here? You're filling in all the last of the spaces. Great. Do we want this roofed? Kaboom means that we build up a lot of heat really quick and we could actually harm the mechs that way. But what we harm also no, we won't. Let's let it roof. Let's see what happens this time. I don't want to burn up the what, what is left over. You know, the reason we want the mechs is so we can dissect them and get all the parts. Which we don't have. Let's see, there was a stockpile here. It's gone. Um, we need the bench to take some apart. We don't have... What's this? Is it the machine bench? This one? Bill. Add Bill. I haven't done a bill in this... Disassemble mechanoid forever. And then add bill. Probably should set these up. I won't do it this time. We have enough going on. But I need to put two or three of everything in here just to... Uh, well, yeah, some of those take a lot of components. But make sure we have plenty of helmets and whatnot in our inventory. Rokes is building. I need someone to haul more stuff. Brand attempting to recruit. Let's bring stuff there. Get those turrets stocked and ready to be constructed. Dwayne is doing that. Klaus is consuming a fine meal because we're out of lavish. Yep. Nettie, you're available to play billiards. Eric, you are relaxing socially. Who can haul? Good, you're already doing that one. Rokes, relaxing socially. After you bring some components over, please. What's happening down here? Nothing. Because it's not the closest mining job. Let's mine there and there. And there. And there. Alright, all the components we come across, we want. There's more steel waiting for us down here. And a bunch more steel waiting... Well, eventually there. Here it all. Here, that's where it's all at. Okay. There's a lot more lining, mining to do. Alright, Cathra is cleaning. That's right, I can get the animals out of here now. I had left them in because of the assumption that halfway through this episode I was going here. I don't think I'm going there now. Let's get this taken care of, then we'll deal with that. I don't think there's much of a time a timer on this one. This one's definitely got a timer. And I could probably use some more constructors. That might be a good idea. Um, Nettie's a great constructor, right? Nettie, construction, right there. You're 17. Congratulations, that's your new number one. 
when that's all done then we'll get back to having you just run as a tailor otherwise Bran was pretty well he used to be we haven't kept his skill level going up 17 Eric is did he not complete the job he did I don't have anything assigned Ah. now this mentioned having an AI core we're gonna need an AI core in order to build our ship and we have not had reason to find one yet it'll be a little cross shaped thing so that is another thing we want to make sure doesn't get destroyed when we do this but let's run this episode long enough to get this ready for this attack then we will take this down and if we're still in good shape we might dive right into taking this one down too next time and I will probably record that episode right after this once you really get into the rhythm you don't want to shut down and wait a day and hopefully and hopefully you can get back into it you notice the fog here the poison emanating from this ship is spreading you guys are what <clears throat> building power can't do it oh really no 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 do that one rokes can't okay um do this one then okay Eric you are busy building um do that one let's get this thing ready that door might be a good thing to have in place too Kathra can you bring the supplies over for this now what was this it was a steel door okay that'll be fine now you are heading where for this steel? Crossing by here. Okay. Doesn't seem to be causing any issues. Okay. This guy. Contents unknown. Contains unknown. Okay. Ah. When we build these for our ship, we'll be able to we will assign people to it they'll stand here then they'll get in then they go into frozen sleep and the ship takes off that's why there's a position there we'd like to go pick this up but I don't know if our presence inside will trigger anything so we're not going to do that otherwise we're getting there these are built they are built so I need somebody Nettie Hauling components to cooler. Can you haul components? Rokes is dealing with that. Then you... Rokes is dealing with that. Uh, you can do that. Which needs probably a component. Yeah. We need a new stockpile for dead things. We don't have one right now. Where to and why? Hmm. Outside the wall? I'm kind of thinking right in this area. Zone, dump, from there to there. That's near the cremator, crematorium. Storage. You will be critical. Clear all. Corpses. Human like mechanoid. Hmm. I don't think there's any modifier I need to add to this. I think that will be fine. They will automatically, when assigned to this one, I believe as crafting or something, will go out and get the bodies to cremate. Which I assume we did with Chef. We're doing it now. Okay. And all of Chef's worldly possessions will be dropped on the ground out here. It'd be nice to extend this roof. Is there a way... I can only clear roof zones. I cannot build roofs here like like uh, the rest of the world can. So the only way I can get a roof is to... Yeah, there's nothing there. Is to build a structure and let it roof over and then unbuild the walls. And there's the goods. And that helmet is being... Took? Military helmet. It's being brought over to the nearest stockpile. 
Okay, that's the only stockpile left that's got room. All the clothing is, is full. So what's happening here now? Rokes is getting the last thing built. Ah, you. Please turn off. Michael needs... Mm. Yeah, that's a little iffy. Let's turn that thing off, please. All right. <laughs> last thing we want is for these things to, on their own, start the attack. All right. It's good that there's marble sitting right there. So I want to build that space. Rokes, if I asked you to do that, would you do it from the inside or would you do it from the outside? Oh, thank you. All right. We are ready. So with that, we're 6 p.m. Our night owls are up. Everybody else still has a few hours before they're going to be too exhausted to to uh, do anything. I think this is a good stopping point. That's next. And then maybe this immediately after. We'll see. Michael is working down here. Right in there. Okay, so this must be the closest mining left at the moment. But that's good. That'll have you at least in the area. I don't know if we're going to let you finish that or position you somewhere else. I'm not sure. You've got a sh you've got a slow run speed. I always want to say a short run speed, but that doesn't work. A slow run speed. If someone takes off after you, you may not be able to get back before they catch you. So it may be better to have you closer to that door than out here. But we'll figure that one out next time. So this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like and subscribe down there if you would. And I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.